Hello everyone, it's Mike and Sam. Hello from Player One Ready, and this is the FIFA 18 Ultimate Team review. Team of Season Bundesliga was out we've last got Friday, and we've a got double a double trouble for double you. Trouble for yeah. you. So it's going to be the two cheapest Bundesliga team, uh, two really cheap strikers that are very useful to have. Here we've got um, Niels Peterson of Freiburg. So he, for me, he got 11, 11 games, 24 goals, and two assists. If you want to watch the Mark Uth part of this video, because we've done the two of them together. Skip to minute 522. There we or go. 52. Five, 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 yeah. one of the, there's a two in one it. One of the two. Yeah. Anyway, so he's got some good stats. He's got 84 positioning, 99 shot power, and uh, 99 positioning and finishing, 97 shot power. He's absolutely class. Yeah. Mm. A few of his goals are some of the best it's, I've seen on Arsenal. 98, vis uh, 98 uh, volleys as well, uh, 85 dribbling, 94 ball control. 87 agility, something you don't really expect from him because he's no, big. No. 99 heading accuracy, 82 jumping, 93 strength. And 99 but his heading accuracy, it's a shame there wasn't more headers. Yeah, I don't really cross it. it. I, it can't, I can't really cross it in much. I get bored of it. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is go into his finishing and his long shots. Finishing, really. His yeah. long shots aren't great, but. What he did score long shot wise was good, though. Yeah, so... yeah, he had the one really good hit. I was really surprised. Um, not surprised at this card, he's got 99 finishing. Mm. Um, but. He just I, I've used strikers before that are really, really good strikers. You know, yeah. we, I, yeah. I've used Larson, you used Icardi, Icardi, yeah. Crespo, Cliver, and this was probably an, a, a, a classier finisher than all of them. It's strange, isn't it? Like, it, 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 the quality on FIFA is not always dependent on like their price because this he was how much was, it was, he, was he? He cost me at the time it was a hundred and something k, a hundred k, hundred k, and now he's worth about ninety odd, and he was an absolute machine in front of goal. Twenty four goals. You, yeah, you, twenty four goals. That's what you expect from your striker. Uh, uh, I expect that sort of <laughs> record from like Crespo or Larson for a 100k striker. And I'll say this now, I don't think he'll be to everyone's taste. There are a couple, there are, it was one con that I didn't really like and that was his two star skill. Yeah. But he makes up for that. The thing about two star skill is obviously you can't really do any skill moves with it at all. There aren't no. really that many useful ones. However, when you've got a five star weak foot and you can do this and just shrug off peekers if and he's this not This is even one of my favourite ever finish. That, <laughs> yeah, the fact that he, yeah, like you said, he holds off a team of the season PK. As if he's not even there. You know, it, it just. Nah. For, for, a, for like, you wouldn't expect that from. I mean, his base card is 77. 76. He's had a world of a season, so it's no wonder he's got a team of yeah, season. He's got 93 like strength on this, and it showed there, didn't it? It was, it was really good strength. And you, you do notice, I haven't really got many clips of him holding the ball up, yeah. um, but he, he had a really good telepathic link with Ozil almost. Like, yeah. like the way that, the times that Ozil fed him, or that he fed Ozil through, and then he got the assist back again. But that, that, that one was. Again, a, it's decent strength know, hold off. I know it's Bellerin, but, you know, he's, he's, got, he's got to do it. So, yeah, he was a really, really good. I guess it's kind of like a Cardi in just terms of a really good finisher. Um, he was always in the right place at the right time. He always, yeah. even, his movement was class. It there's really a, was a very... There's, there's very one clip in particular where he starts the move, carries on, it, which you expect from yeah. any good striker. But he carry, it's the way he moves around mm. and he lets Ozil find him. I think this might be it. It was just really, it really... It was one of the... Yeah, it was like little moves like this. I mean, his, ball, his, his control... His, yeah, his control was it's class. really good as well. Really good. He's one of the two times where, because you know he's not got much skill... Um, you can't just get it out of his feet early and hit it, and he does yeah. it really, really snappily. And that was that was a good that's good hit there. Sort of one of the few sort. It wasn't really long distance because I'd say anything from out of the D is long distance. But he was a, he was he was a really good finisher. I can't I can't stress enough. Obviously, he's fitted from ninety nine finishing, but maybe you think, oh well, he's he's, he's only got seventy seven sprint acceleration, only eighty four sprint speed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe it's a little bit difficult to create for, but trust me, he wasn't. You, I mean, you watched me play a couple of games with him yesterday, and I was. I think it was about three or four we watched. I mean, I was, if you look at these clips, some of these shots and chances he makes for himself. Yeah, exactly. You know, when he's this kind of close control, I mean, that's a that's, a great that's an finish. excellent yeah. goal. You know, some of his goals are just made by himself. Obviously, yeah. he's set up. Ozil was a. You know, given he's going to make chances, yeah, but, but he was his it, movement was really, really was very, very good. I was surprised how good he was, to be yeah. honest with you. When you said you're you're going to record Nils Peterson, I was like, not what I expected. But then I did, yeah. I did, some, I did look it up. I didn't realise yeah. he had that good a season. Yeah, he had a very good season. I didn't realise his card. Like, yeah. Do you know it's? I mean, it was just a re it was a really fun card to play with. I was I was really enjoying. Um, <laughs> he he made so many defenders look have look average. I'll be honest with you, it's just. The fact that he's so strong, the fact that he's got really good movement, um, it kind of get just gets him in really, really good positions. And I was I was very, very impressed. If if this card cost two hundred K, you you'd I'd pay still it. be impressed yeah. by it. Would you pay it? Yeah, I'd pay it, absolutely. Yeah. I thought he was I thought he was tough. And that's tantamount to his skill that you said that. Yeah, I know, th know. Th that's the some of the hypers I give him that I'd rather use him than most other strikers at the moment. This was by far the most clinical striker I've used in a long time. But actually I'll tell you what the best praise I can give it is. I did a review last FIFA of team of, team of uh, icon, uh, legend, but it's icon, icon now, but legend, Marcus Van Basten. Marco. 
Mark, yeah, Mark. Marco Van ba- yeah, Mark, yeah. Mark, <laughs> Marco Van Basten. So I would say he was as good as that FIFA 17 Van Basten. That was. is high praise because yeah. that Van Basten was basically your. He, yeah, your, he scored you know, like 52 your, goals or something stupid. He was incredible. Goals. But yeah. it's, you know, a goal every two games. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Well, right. there's two two goals. It's over two, two goals, goals a game, game for Peterson. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, though. Again, there's the few time, times I've, I've shown it's hard target man ability. It's, it's just. He will win. He win kick off. He uh, win goals from win headers from goal kicks. Yeah. Uh, there's only a few clips here of him holding it up, but he did hold up the ball and play it through to Ozil a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. There's decent a couple of decent headers there. I think if you did cross in, if you I'm not very good at crossing, but I think if you were a good player at crossing and finding pizza, you score, score a ton of them because he was, this is like this is a good example because it's just it's just the way the just, power on that header. Yeah, but it's just the way he just ridiculous. eases off the defender like. Yeah. It, Again, it's just the, it, it's really good movement because he just instead of sprinting into the box, he just eases off a little bit. Anyway, that's, now um, that was that was um, it was fifty two five fifty two five fifty two. Anyway, so that's this. One. This is uh, Mark Uth, the uh, or Oot, whatever mm. you know, plays for Hoffenheim. Um, <laughs> he got 11, 11 games played, seventeen goals, two assists. And I'll say this now: I used him wrong. Yes, you were going to go into a bit more detail about this. So originally, I played him. I played him in a four-two-three, holding with a holding midfielder yeah. as a lone striker. Now he's got medium-high work rates, which doesn't suit the lone striker anyway, and he's got ninety-one passing. With you know, he's got like, yeah, sorry, I'm hiding my record. So here's a picture of Danny <laughs> DeVito. So he's got like 90, ninety-two vision, uh, eighty-eight crossing, ninety-four short passing, and eighty-nine long passing. And I played him in a lone striker. Now, for, okay, he's got like ninety-one jumping, ninety-six heading, right? He so he's, he's good in the air. Though. He needs a partner, and I play. I, I, after a while, I did change him to have Timo yeah. Werner up top, yeah. and it worked a little bit better. And I'll say this now: I I think he's a good player. Um, we'll come we'll come to that at the end of it. Yeah. We'll show you his goals and his assists and what I think is wrong with him to start with. So here we go on to his on to his finishing and long shots. First of all, yeah. now he's got like ridiculous. Like, he's got like 98, 97 long shots, ninety-eight long shots, ninety-seven shot yeah. power, one two, yeah. and he was good. He, he his, his his movement was decent again. He's sort of similar to Peterson in that his movement was good it, and his yeah, finishing was always kind it, of. It was decent. Up there. Yeah, but the thing I don't like about about him is he's got three star weak foot and three star skill. Hmm. Now, so skill wise, is a bit uh, better than Peterson. Yeah, but weak foot. Weak foot's worse. Yeah. And when you're when he's this is good strength actually from him there. So when he's got no one around him. Yeah. And he's on his right foot, and he's composed, and he's in a decent state. Mm-hmm. He'll score. But when he's rushing a shot yeah. on his it, right it foot, it could go wrong. It'll it go wrong. Ballooned over, or yeah, it could yeah, we'll scuff it, it wide, or just won't get power on it. So but you need to keep him on his strong side. I'd say keep him on. His, yeah. You have to keep him on his left foot, really, um, which is easy to do. I'll be honest with yeah. you. you. You know, but I, there's, I, I want either a striker to have at least a three. I mean, that's class. That was yeah. That little turn, oh, his dribbling was spectacular. If he had a four star skill, if he had four star skills. He would be fucking brilliant, but he doesn't. A little bit quick, quicker than Peterson. He was quicker than Peterson. Yeah. And he's actually got good pace, to be fair to him. He has got decent pace. And there's a there's a clip later on in in, in this video where he, he actually outruns and holds off Mark um Marcus I got Marcus in there Marcel <laughs> Desailly, which is probably why when you did play him up front on his own, it worked because he's quick. Yeah, but he, you know. he does need a partner because he has got good passing. And yeah. I think if you, even if you played him, to be honest with you, even if you played him in like a in just behind another striker, so instead yeah. of playing him out and out striker yeah. with another partner, you put him behind someone. Yeah, I reckon yeah. he'd be even better. To be, I reckon he'd be better up there. I'd re- play him in cam now than striker or centre forward rather than out and out striker because he's got high defensive work rate. So he'll try and get back a bit, which you don't really want as a striker. Um, he's got. Yeah, good. it's strange to put that in. It's, just, yeah. it's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's, but he's also got good short passing, good vision, good long passing. So Cam, centre forward, probably work a bit better, get him on the ball more. Oh, I think and his long shots are good as well, as that as that shows. So He's more of a complete forward than Peterson is. Yeah. He's more about bringing the other players well, well, yeah, in. Yeah, like we'll when, when he played with Ozil... Did he play with Ozil? Uh, no, he didn't, actually. No. no. There was well when he whoever was in the team he'd bring him in. Yeah, you know, exactly. It, it, it was more with Werner when you eventually put him up front with Werner. You saw that. Quite it well, was actually, more yeah. about creating for him as well as yeah. finishing off his own chances. Whereas Peterson is quite you get a chance and he'll finish it. Yeah, he's belted. However, Peterson is definitely the better goal scorer. Yeah. I'm not, not taking away from him. He's a very 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 good striker front of goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Peterson just. But I've never known a strike. I've not used a strike on FIFA 18 that's got that much. There you go, that's, that's all you clip. Just Which got, is a lovely goal. Yeah. Yes. But it's just that much zip on his shot and that much accuracy. It was, it was, it was phenomenal. I can't say how, how, just how good it was. Is he one of the best strikers you've played with on this game? Peterson. This year? By a, by a mile. Who is the best one still? It sounds like it's. It might actually, it might be, actually Peterson. be Peterson. I mean, yeah. considering who you've reviewed. Well, I think this I've, year. I, okay, that's the only clip I've got with Peterson, with uh, Ooth scoring. So, 
going into it, I'm going to give, this is going to be harsh, and it's my fault, yeah. but I've given Uth a, a four-star rating from what, from what I used him. And a three-star now, value. And a three-star value, because I think if you want if you want a good goal scorer that's also a, 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 like a, a good creator, mm-hmm. there are other options out there, yeah. possibly, and I'm not really sure that... Uth is worth the... Yeah, he's really definitely is. for me. He's definitely not worth more than Peterson is. Yeah, because I've given Peterson a five because I've I've paid less hundred. I paid about hundred k for him, and he scored me that many goals. Exactly. He was, Which he, is what you want when you pay hundred k. You guarantee exactly. guaranteed results, and if he gives you that, then exactly. you can't. Now really I've, I've been I've been harsh on Ruth, and going back, if I had used him in a, in a correct system straight from the off, mm-hmm. they were probably looking at a higher thing. Now, learn from me. Learn from my <laughs> mistakes. All right. Play Oof up front. With someone like Timo Werner, yeah, or yeah. or play him in behind, and you will reap the rewards from that. But don't play him as an out and out striker for me. It That's worked, one thing you I would can get say. Away with it, but you, yeah, exactly. But to really reap the rewards. Absolutely, use yeah. him. Use him with someone else. Um, with with Peterson, absolutely use him as a lone striker because you want him to be. He'll just get the goals. It's Maybe. it's that easy. Anyway, if you like this video and, and you want to see more, uh, like subscribe to the channel. Exactly. If you, you want to see if you want to see more reviews like this, please like subscribe and uh, that will mean that mean a lot to us. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we'll continue making fairly Quality average free 18 reviews. Yeah. Fairly average. They're wicked. <laughs>